We start with beating soft butter. Beat for about 2 minutes before adding all dry ingredients except flour number 2. If you use salted butter, don't add salt from the recipe. I have mixed in advance together in a bowl flour 1, salt, sugar powder and almond powder. Mix with mixer at medium speed until it has sandy structure. We need every molecule of the dry ingredients to be covered with butter. When your dough becomes sandy, add the eggs and continue mixing until the dough looks even. Add the second part of flour and keep mixing at medium speed until you see big, even pieces starting to form. Remove the dough from the bowl and finish mixing it with your hands, but don't mix too long, we shouldn't let the butter melt. Form a bowl with the dough and cut it in half. I make our halves flatter because it will be easier to roll them. Wrap the dough with plastic film and let it rest in the fridge for 20-30 minutes. The dough has been stabilizing in the fridge for 30 minutes and now it's ready to be used. We begin by rolling out the dough until it's between 2 to 3 mm thick. Check the thickness from all sides to get sure it's even across all the dough. Cut off the bottoms for our future tartlets. I used the same form I will bake them in. Remove any leftovers. If you see that the dough got soft, move it back to the fridge for 10 minutes. Move the bottoms to the perforated silicone mat and place the perforated metal rings on them. If you use a regular mat without perforation, make holes with a fork. The dough needs to breathe during baking. This is also a reason why we use perforated metal rings. For the sides, roll out the dough so that it's between 2 to 3 mm thick. You can cut off the sides with a ruler or, like me, using an accurate eye. The height of the sides should be a little bit taller than the metal ring sides. If the dough got soft, put it in the fridge for 10 minutes again. This is how hard the dough should be for comfortable work. It's elastic and it's not breaking on your hands. Put the sides inside the metal rings and press them against the rings firmly. Check there is no space between the lower edge of the side and the bottom of the tartlets. If the dough got soft, put it in the fridge for 10 minutes again. We cut the upper edge of the tartlets with a sharp knife parallel to the table. Put the tartlets in the fridge for half an hour. I put there the whole mat. Bake in the oven at 150-160 degrees Celsius for 13-15 minutes or until you notice deep gold color. Remove the silicon mat from the baking sheet immediately after we take it out of the oven. This is how your tartlets will look if you've done everything correctly. If you have any questions, ask me in the comments under this video.